Megadeth is a a legendary trash metal band from the United States, from America. Um, and I'm definitely a fan of Megadeth. I've reviewed some of their albums. I've reviewed the debut record, which is called uh, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Fun, which is definitely a uh, recommendation for me. And I have reviewed uh, Rust In Peace, which is their uh, fifth album, I believe. What are four? No, no, no. It is their fourth record overall. It came out in 1990. Uh, yeah, and this is arguably the best trash metal album of all time. One of the best metal albums, period. Uh, I highly recommend that if you want to get into metal or into Megadeth uh, specifically. But today I have their their second album. I have P Cells. Um, yeah, and this is definitely a uh, recommendation from me. Uh, the album itself, and I would recommend that you're gonna uh, you have to listen to the original version because uh, Rock do said to me, um, well, he requested this by the way, P Cells Rock do. Um, uh, he he also said that if you listen to the remaster, Dave's voice is horrible. Um, and I actually just listened to the uh, to the remastered version because it is on Spotify. Uh, so I have to look up, you know, the original piece cells because it is way better. The mixing, Dave's voice in general, it is way better. Well, it is less shit. Uh, let, let, let me say that. Let's let's rephrase that. Dave's voice is less shit on the original. I'm not the biggest fan of Dave singing, but his guitar playing is uh, godly. Um, yeah, and to talk about Peace Cells, we have a 8 track album here, it is not really long, it is only uh, 30 minutes long. Um, it almost reaches 40 minutes, but it, you know, it is a very, very tight album. Um, I prefer the Rust in Peace length, it is just 40 minutes, it just barely reaches 40 minutes, and I think that is just perfect uh, in the way that how uh, diverse that record really is. Uh, yeah, and it is my 100th review on the channel, so uh, it was not requested, I just wanted to do that record because it is one of my favorites, if not my favorite record of all time. Um, for many, for many, Rust in Peace is the, the best record. Uh, we still have people saying um, which is the better album, Rust in Peace or Peace Cells. Yeah, just... Is it even a debate? I mean, come on. Uh, Peace Cells is a great record, but... Rust in Peace just destroys that record. Uh, but to talk about Peace Cells, you know, it, it is a it is a great record, like I said. It, it is definitely a classic. We have, like I said, eight songs on there. Um, I believe the, the minutes, the minute mark is 35 minutes, 36 minutes and 12 seconds. I was almost right. Oh uh, yeah, this came out in 1986, the second record, like I said. And this is produced by Dave Mustaine mostly and Randy Burns. This was when Megadeth didn't have a a, uh, a great lineup. They uh, well, Dave Mustaine had some guys that were working for him, but they mostly did drugs and uh, sold their instruments because because of drugs. So they fired mostly all of uh, his original members except for. Uh, David Ellison, I believe that guy's called the bass of the band. I think his bass sound is great. He's not the best bass by uh, by any means, but he still is. You know, he does the job. Uh, standing beside Dave Mustaine, you know, great, uh, great duo. And then we get, uh, of course, with Rust in Peace, we got the classic lineup with Nick Menza and uh, Dave Ellison, Dave Mustaine, and uh marty friedman uh, marty friedman and nick mens i believe debuted on the rust in peace record what a debut for them uh but to talk, you, you know i'm just mostly talking about rust in peace here but still um that is just saying uh, how great of a record that uh, that really is check check the review out man uh but peace cells is definitely no slouch either uh definitely listen to the original version because the the remaster is not the best. Uh, we start off with Wake Up Dead and Wake Up Dead is a classic song. I really love the the opening, the do good, 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 do, and and then you know the double drum attack with the bass, uh, with Dave's voice. You know, on the original it sounds uh, really haunting, and on the remaster version it sounds really retarded. If I'm really honest, it sounds really dumb. And I just listened to the remaster, but I'm reviewing the original here, so uh, yeah. 
if I would if if I would give the remaster a rating, I would give it probably a seven or something, or maybe an eight if I'm generous. But we're talking about the original here, so that is not the final score. Don't don't worry, it gets a higher rating. Uh, but yeah, Wake Up Dead is definitely a classic song. I really love the solo towards the ending. The and then when it climaxes, it really uh, hits the pinnacle there. Uh, I, I think it is just a great song, one, one of the best songs, definitely, and a, a great way to um, a great way to begin this album. With it. it is just a classic song. Then we get the Conj the Conjuring, which is a bit um, the same, like Wake Up Dead, but it is a bit of an underrated track because it is right in the middle of the two biggest songs of the record. I still really like that the song is really heavy and really trashing. Um, it is a bit similar to the other trash bands out there, like Exodus and Testament, um, Creator, in in a way, Overkill. You know those classic trash bands. Uh, but the Conjuring still stays true to the Megadeth uh, veins. I would say that side one is uh, pretty straightforward. It is mostly trash in your face, and side two is a bit more diverse. Not per se in the best way, but still it is diverse. Then we get Peace Cells, which is of course a classic track. I really love the bass opening by uh, by David Ellison, which is still yeah, it is still my favorite bass opening by David Ellison to this day. Uh, I just really love how he opens up the record, the um, the song I mean, and then um, Dave just slams you with to do do, and then just when. Um, just that guitar tone when he does the do 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 just that that moment is epic. It really feels like the the post -ap -ap apocalyptic world is happening with that riff. It really sounds like that. Uh, yeah, just 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 like really. Um, nobody is in peace anymore. We have a nuclear war, something like that. Peace cells really sounds like that. I really love that this song gets um, extremer and extremer as the time goes on. I really love that about the song. It is a classic, uh, definitely a highlight of Megadeth's entire career. I think it is a great track. And especially the ending when it just gets chaotic as hell. I really love that about the song. It is, cha it is chaos, it is pure fun. Just listen to Peace Cells. The entire record and the title track is definitely a highlight of that record. Of uh, the Peace Cells record. Then we get Devil's Island, and Devil's Island is the closure of uh, side one. Uh, I personally think that this is a really underrated track. Uh, this is a really fun song to jam out to. It is a bit more slower in pace, it is a bit more centered around David Ellison, but it still proves that Megadeth is a worthy successor to the big four of Trash Metal. Uh, not as fast, like I said, but it still is a bit more dark, a bit more... Uh, ambient, I would say, not not one hundred percent ambient, but it still is a bit more darker. It feels so a great way to spice things up. Um, side two, uh, however, I think "Good Morning Black Friday" is a really diverse song. It is almost seven minutes long, so I I, I really love the length on this track. Uh, six minutes forty one seconds. Uh, I really love that Dave. Just sings really hauntingly on the air. Not on the not on the remaster though. Not the best, but on the original, I think it sounds great. Um, he doesn't sing like an angel ever. He 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 just isn't the best singer, but um, he still proves that uh, he can sing really uh, dark on this track. And I really loved it about Good Morning Black Friday. It is a bit chaotic again, like Peace Cells and Wake Up Dead. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure if Dave is talking about Black Friday, like uh, people that have uh, things for sale on Friday and people are gonna die like that Black Black Friday. I'm not sure if Dave is talking about that, but if he is, it's funny as hell. It is a fun track and it is the longest track of the album. It is, um, it goes places. It goes um, a bit progressive, I would say, a bit trash, a bit heavy metal. A bit more darker in tone so this song goes uh, places and it actually is consistent so i really love it about good morning black friday however with side two i'm not the biggest fan bad omen was a bit of a slower track which didn't really go anywhere uh it still was uh, heavy as hell but still the beginning is a bit slow and it just feels like megadeth is repeating themselves a bit a bit 
Uh, not not a lot, but still a little bit. Uh, I ain't superstitious is a really unnecessary cover, I would say. Willie Dixon um, has wrote the original. And the song sounds so... It sounds so out of place, I would say. Um, it really sounds like a bluesy... Uh, classic rock tune sped up to a trash metal uh, production style. I really, really don't think that this is the best choice for Megadeth. I really think that uh, it is strange that they have done this. But I still think that uh, I Ain't Superstitious is a, uh, you know, still a good song though, but definitely the weakest track of this record. Uh, and then we get to My Last Word, which is uh, 4 minutes and 50, uh, 57 seconds, almost 5 minutes. Um, yeah, I think that this song is nice. It has some acoustic interludes at the beginning, I believe, and then uh, later it's it goes a bit more heavy again. So this song is also really diverse as well. But it, side two is basically just repeating what side one did, and I really love side one. Side one is basically flawless, uh, and the early side of side two is pretty great as well. But you know, I I just think that the last two songs aren't the best. I superstitious and my last words. My last words is a good, uh, good closing title, I would say. But the song overall just didn't, didn't do a lot for me. It just basically repeated what the album already achieved. Well, it well they Megadeth repeated a winning formula, so I cannot blame them. But still, uh, still a good emotional closure, but you know, not the best closure in my opinion. Overall, I think Peace Cells still is a great record. Uh, it definitely is among their best work. Uh, among the best works but you know it doesn't touch rust in peace but it is better than the debut record I would give this record a uh, 9.3 uh, I still think that the first five six songs are great I uh, really love those uh, and then I think I ain't superstitious is a bit out of place and my last words could have been better if I ain't superstitious was replaced with an actual trash song then maybe this record would uh, would have gotten a 10 but for now a 9.3 i still think that it is a really high rating for this record and it is definitely one of the best records uh from the megadeth discography so uh, i enjoyed it let me know what you think about megadeth um yeah it is a great record i, I love it uh yeah let me know what you think about it let me know what you think about megadeth in general do you think they're they're dumb do you think they're really smart do you think dave mustaine is a uh a trash metal god well he basically is but still uh do let me know what you think about megadeth i absolutely love them i love their uh you know their 80 stuff i love Kana to extinction euthanasia euthanasia is pretty interesting um and then we, and then we got some more modern records which i think are great as well um fuck i was the home called again uh I'm, I'm not sure anymore it's on the tip of it is on the tip of my tongue, but I cannot remember. United Abomination, I think, is really underrated. Endgame is, is a modern classic. And then we have, of course, the uh, the new Dystopia, which is, you know, and 13, which are great records. So, Megadeth stays true to the, uh, to the thrash metal roots, and I think that is what makes them one of the best thrash metal bands, if not the best thrash metal bands out there. But still, let me know if you want me to do more Megadeth. Let me know if you want me to do So Far So Good, So What whatever you know not the best title but whatever counter to extension uh, later records i think those are great as well so let me know what you want me to do about them um i hope you've enjoyed this album review let me know what you think about them and take care